because you've trained hard, really good. And I'll say you're looking in as good a shape as ever for 45 years of age. There's not many men, I tell you, for 45, in the good shape as you. You're strong, you're a good puncher, and you're, you're really good for the, for the fight game. There's a lot of people that might be able to fight like you, I tell you. Don't worry about that. Turn the head around this way, Don. But you definitely fight after, you definitely fight like Marciana. You, I know you sort of idolise a man, but I know you take, take after him, but well, yeah, he was a good fighter, really good fighter. But he, I mean, you to copy a man's style like Marciano, you've got to be good. I mean, he was a good fighter, Marciano. And, uh, your body's looking good. You're just the right weight, 14-6. You're strong, your wind's good. You've done a nice little road work. You must have run easy, between five and 600 miles. Look at the squats and the weights you've been using. The weights for your teeth and that, strengthen your jaw. Got to be good. It'd be a fight to remember tonight. We won't get carried away, we'll just do our job. So, I mean, would you, would you say, Donnie, that I mean, it's a grudge fight at all? Oh, yeah, it is in a way. You, you, it's a grudge fight because, you know, low in front of the police and people like that, we talk, you know, hoping they won't stop it. So we say a bit to make it look sweet. But uh, it'll be a different tale later on. What's important to you about the fight? Pride and the people I live with. You see, it's, you know, you wake up and I'd look in the mirror and I thought Roy Shaw never knocked him out, I know. It can't be. Have you ever been beaten, Roy? Uh, Donnie? No, I've never been beaten. Touch wood. Have you ever come near it? Um, We've had some good fights, I'll put it that way, but you know, I've always felt as if I could carry on sort of thing. We've had, you know. Yeah, we. No, I've never been. I suppose you shouldn't talk like that, but if you haven't, you haven't, and that's it. I think you're finding, you know, in them. Uh, in the people that we live with. I think I've had a good name all the way through. It's been a good, clean fighter, a good, clean punch, and never used a tool in my life, right? Like, you know, I don't think I could use a tool. Well, I know certain people that can. Um, you know, I've been in rows with people and they've had pulled guns out at me. But I've always gone at them and a shot me got away. He never did do any blows for it. How do you tell a good fighter when you're fighting with them in the ring, brother? A man who goes forward. A man who comes forward. A man who, who wants to fight. Not a man who wants to back off. See, you see, I admire Clay. Don't get me. He, to me, he's, he's ruined boxing. But I admire him. But for a showman. But he's not a fighter. Not a fighter at all. You know, if, as I said before, if I, I know for a fact, and I know it's true. If I could have him in my bathroom, well, it's a nice little space. I think I'd come out just as well as he would. But in a ring, well, what could you do with a man that backpedals and runs away? But now somebody like Marciano who comes at you, a different class of fighter, a man who wants to get you on the ropes and won't let you off. What a fighter, what a man. Is that your technique? Yeah, yeah that's, nice yeah, I like, I like to do that. I like, nice I like to see that sort of thing. I don't like to see, see, I can't never, I can't, for the life of me, see two men, Joe Bugner style and, and Cassis Clay, or Mally or whatever he likes to be called. I can't see two men fighting for 15 rounds and coming out at the end of it without a mark on them. No, that's true. I can't oh, see right. it. Because if they're both punching their weight... They've got to be hurt. Someone's got to do something, sure. Someone's got to be hurt, haven't they? It, 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 really. 
And that's why, you know, they, they tell me this noble art business, they reckon that's where it comes in. But even with the noble art, if you're punchy, if you're a punchy, you're a punchy. You, you, Simple as that. You can't be punching your weight if you fight 15 rounds and come out without a mark on you. And I don't care who it is or what it is. I know for a fact if I hit anybody and I don't mark him, he's got to be like a lump of concrete, I think. How do you know when a man is hurt? You can tell, you can see he shies off a bit. He comes forward, but his mouth opens and, you know, he, he, he just wants, he wants to give everything, but he just ain't got it there. You can see, you can tell, you can tell by his eyes, when his eyes go a bit glazy. Do you think Roy's going to be nervous tonight? No, sure. He's, I don't think he's that nervous type of fella. I don't think he's that nervous type of fella. He's done enough. He's been in enough positions where he, this is nothing really to him, I should think. You know, he's. Uh, I know for a fact that he's he's been in a few tight corners and he's got himself out of it. I sure think this is making it. You get butterflies, I suppose. You know. <laughs> Do you get there and slam one another? Somebody's got to lose, Donnie. Yeah, yeah, someone's got to lose. Poor Roy. Huh? Huh? Poor Roy. <laughs> yeah, he's got to lose, right? What other of you do you think take it well? well? I know I will. I just had to say, well, chaps, I've let you down, but please God, we have another try. What if it gets a bit rough, Donnie? Nice. We like it that way. I like it. If he wants to play rough, well, it's going to be rough anyway. <laughs> How do you mean rough? Well, you're going to hit me with a stall. <laughs> yeah. What about? Uh, there's a bit of age difference, obviously, between you. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to count. Jersey Joe Walcott was what? Forty-eight, wasn't he? Uh, my master Archie Moore was 47, well, world yeah, champion. Yeah. Wasn't he? Yeah. 47, champion of the world, good fighter, wasn't he? Yeah. Archie Moore. What about being a boxer? Uh, do you regret uh, Dominic? Yeah, you? most definitely, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Mind you, if I'd have been a fighter in my days, I suppose, you know, when I was, uh, how can I put it, in Wagner's age today, and I was in it, I'd have been like Tommy, getting peanuts. If Donnie's been young today, you've got a lot of money. Today you've got to be, today you've got to be the he's got a lot of money. Mind you, I don't think it's going to last too long, because I think the public's getting a bit sick of it, don't they? I think they've seen enough of these, um, these so-called fighters today. See, you got to, I'll give it to people like Billy Walker. Billy Walker was a fighter. He didn't know, he didn't know when to give in. Just hang on a second. I can't see. I'm not counting. I want everybody else to be fighters. I don't want. I don't want to see boxing. You don't want to see the finesse. You see. No, you see. I go there and I see people sit there and they're paying like twelve pounds. Well, and why were you never invited? Huh? Unfortunately, I went to Folkestone and proved schools and different things like that. And we went up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pull on. Pull on. Pull on. Pull on. That is the difference. He said, he, we've been fools to ourselves. Don't worry. When, uh, we, uh, when we were kids, wasn't like my kids today, they couldn't come in and say, uh, I, can't, I couldn't go in and say, Dad, I want this and I want that and get it. You know I, mean? I used to go out and nick my things. Wrong way. Wrong. You mustn't do that sort of thing, they tell me. Mind you, the government's doing it all day long, but I mean, we mustn't do it. But. Anyway, uh, I just go out and, you know, just go to see him, innit? And then when I was just going to come right in the boxing game, I was going to go with the licence and everything like that. I've got five years for actually postal orders. Just hang on with that. Yeah, to the left. No. Yeah, just tell us about when you were going to get your licence again. Well, I was going to get a licence and a fella come round my house one night and yeah, I, was, I had the forms and everything to go to Jack Solomon's gym one Saturday morning. And, you know, I don't know what they'd done then. Don't front the board as well. Anyway, yeah. 
on the Friday night, I was going up there on a Saturday morning, on the Friday night, I'll, a fella come round and give me some postal orders. And I went round, all the, all the post offices changing them up. I thought, so we're saying bad, like, you know, I was getting ponies and, you know, jacks and all that, like, I thought we're saying bad, so I had a pocket full of money. And anyway, eventually I got five years. I got nicked and got five years. Well, I've done a couple of screws while I was away, wound up doing seven years. Um, you know, that was my downfall, it's my fault. If I shouldn't have, I should have bypassed the, the post laws and gone to the gym. But them days, my money was handy to get older. And that's how it started. Of course, when I come out, I was, they told me I was too old. I'm still going there. Okay, right, thanks. Got some plastic bags put them yeah, on. Yeah, you put them in here, mate. I've got the bags in here. Yeah, so oh. Where's that put these? Oh! Cool, I've only had one light out. It's only, it's only light out, not heavy, are they? Of course. No. <laughs> they stand down here for the time being until you use them. Right. Oh, there's a guy you've got the vacuum cleaner in. <laughs> Who this belong to? <laughs> it's a bag. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, you've got it in there. Oh, well. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there's a couple more coming. Hello, are you? Good evening. Oh, She's got nowhere a pony, cause I don't care. But down the street she toddles all the neighbours say. What a good old fire and bread. I wouldn't give a top to your old watch chain, I'm tired of your old bald head. Oh, I like pickled onions, and I like pickled linny. Pickle cabbage, that's all right. Little bit of tripe on a Sunday night. All right, tomatoes, there's one thing I prefer. There's a little bit of cucumber, I can cucumber, a little bit of cucumber. Oh, any old dying, any old dying, any, any old dying. You look sweet, talk about a treat. You look at every use, every use, dressed in style with a brand new tie. Father's old great tile. I wouldn't give a damn to your old watch chain, old iron, old iron. Hey, 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 h